All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 mod spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Canteens of the Commonwealth mod, which is being made by user May Samker, and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a series of different faction-based canteens to give you an alternative means for carrying water around the Commonwealth. And not just that, they're also, of course, a bit of a fashion statement, as they each do show a different style, color, etc., depending on which faction you do choose, which, you know, adds a nice little bit of flair other than just the standard water bottle. And thankfully, they are quite easy to get a hold of once you have installed this mod into the game, as all you need to do is go to your local friendly neighborhood cooking station. Now, this is where they're created for now. This is planned to change, but for the time being, it is created here in this canteen category where you both fill your canteen as well as create your new empty ones. Now let's talk about the building them first. Now at the moment we have seven different canteens, though more are being planned for the future. And the current ones we have is a Brotherhood of Steel canteen, a sort of just generic dirty survivalist canteen, an institute canteen, a military one, a Minuteman one, a railroad one, and and finally, a Vault Tech one, which I think is my favorite. I think it just looks the coolest of all of them. And you'll notice they all do require a fair amount of materials, actually, to build. You're going to need ballistic fiber, cloth, plastic, and steel, with the exception of the Dirty Canteen, which is meant to be your sort of starting level early game canteen, just requiring cloth and steel. But there's a catch. All the other canteens have to be filled with purified water. The dirty canteen can only be filled with dirty water. And that, of course, brings us to the filling of the canteens. Now, this again is a sort of at the moment thing uh, you have to actually fill them up using either dirty water or of course purified water here in the cooking station though the mod maker is currently working on an easier way to fill them uh, specifically an on the go feature so hopefully in the next version it will be a lot easier to use but for right now what you have to do is have an empty canteen in your inventory as well as some purified water or or dirty water and you just click it and it will craft a new full canteen and that is well how that functions now let's take a look at all of these in my inventory and show off another little oddity to this mod now when your canteens are empty and unfilled with any water they are in miscellaneous. Once you do fill them with water, though, they go to your aid category, which means you can, you know, hit Q here to add it to your favorites, which will make life a lot easier when you're on the go. You can just click that and you can hydrate yourself, which is, you know, generally a good thing in the survival mode of the game. Now, as for the looks of these things, they're pretty cool, actually. Let's uh, take a look at the canteen dirty here. And it's, yeah, just kind of a generic jug with what looks like a wooden stopper up at the top there but it is quite cool now uh, when this is empty it will weigh 0.5 when filled it'll weigh 3 so basically when it is filled it's going to weigh the same amount as the 6 bottles of dirty water that it took to fill it and you'll get six uses out of this. So it's really not gonna change the weight or the clutter of your inventory, frankly, but it does just add an interesting different alternative. And how you know you have six uses is this little bar up here. This shows you exactly how many drinks you can get out of this canteen. And when you use one, the bar goes down until it reaches zero and it returns to your miscellaneous category. Now we'll uh, show that off here in a moment. Let's actually finish going through the different ones. Here is the Vault Tech Canteen, which I filled up earlier. Definitely, definitely my favorite. I just, I love the look of this. It is very cool, the nice blue cloth covering. Vault Alt tech logo, very, very nice. Now, if we go over to Miscellaneous to take a look at the others, we have the empty Brotherhood of Steel Canteen. Very cool, b very, very befitting for their colors, in my opinion. Overall, just a nice little canteen there. We then have the Institute one, of course, being the uh, sort of clean white color with their interesting logo. Always good. 
the military canteen here. Now, something interesting about this one is the military canteen may actually change in the future. Right now, like with every other canteen, it will hold six. But there may be a new military version that will hold up to 12 bottles of water, which will be quite impressive. Okay, so the next one we have is the Minuteman canteen. Again, I think very, very cool looking, very fitting for the Minutemen. Very nice there. And finally, we have have the railroad which is that nice crimson color there with the lantern logo very very fun I really do like all of these I think they're quite interesting looking uh, again my personal favorite is just the vault tech one I, I think it's because I like the bright blue color other than that I'd actually say probably the Minuteman one is I think it probably fits the Minutemen the best out of all the factions there so all of them look quite respectable for their faction but I don't know something about this one really screams Minutemen to me with its coloring and, and etc so very very fun a uh, very very cool and so let's actually show off the use of these now let's uh, drink from our vault tech canteen here and just click to take a drink you'll notice that it disappears for a second and that's because technically each of these items as I understand how this mod works is really multiple items so when you take a drink from it it disappears appears briefly and then reloads the next count one down so we now have five drinks left four drinks left three drinks left two drinks left one drink and then we're back to empty and it's in miscellaneous over here and as you can see it is adding in that new countdown uh, canteen every time you do take a drink which is very interesting to me so that's basically how it works it's a uh, each canteen is really a multitude of different ones that just gets respawned which is quite cool and again just a, an interesting alternative method to having water because uh, again it's really not Eh, probably the most effective thing, because, I mean, it's going to take up as much space as your normal water would. It's just an interesting, different thing. Now, one thing I really can't wait for, though, is eventually another one of the future plans is to actually have these canteens be wearable. And when that happens, oh, I will love this mod even more, because then you'll actually see your canteen on your person wherever you're going. And that... That, I think, will make this mod quite a bit more special. Uh, but yeah, that is really all there is to talk about with the canteens of the Commonwealth mod. Very cool little thing. It's just a nice little bit of extra flair to the game to give you something a bit different than your standard dirty water cartons and purified water bottles. And I think, I think it's a nice little change of pace, and I can't wait to see what does get added in in the future. But that is going to be it for now. If you'd like to uh, check out this mod for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description, as per usual. But uh, yeah, I do hope you all have enjoyed this episode today, and of course, that you do come back for the next, when uh, hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always... Have a good one.